Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jane. I'm a personal trainer based in New York City. And welcome back to another episode of Morning Mobility. Today we're gonna to be focusing on opening up the chest, releasing the spine. We have seven moves that we're going through today. You don't need any equipment except if you have a foam roller or a yoga block. You could also use books, a big fluffy pillow, anything like that that you could lay on top of. Pause the video, go grab something like that, and then come back and we'll get started. All right, so we are starting today in a seated position. This is just a seated cat-cow. I love starting with this exercise because you can do it from your mat, from your bed, literally from wherever. So I like putting my hands right here on my knees, and I'm gonna press my chest to the ceiling, and then I'm gonna bring it back and curve the spine, and you can send those arms forward. Good, bring it back up. We're gonna uh, press the chest, I almost said chest the breast, <laughs> to the ceiling, and forward. One more time like this, and then we'll take it a little bit deeper. Think about pinning those shoulder blades together, and sending it forward. Good, just a little bit deeper now. We're gonna take the hands and put them behind you, pressing into the floor, squeezing the shoulder blades together, send the chest to the ceiling, and send those arms forward. Two more times, let's match our breath to this. So we're inhaling right here. And exhaling as we bring it forward. One more inhale as you send the chest to the ceiling. And exhale, bringing it forward. Rolling up through the spine, putting one vertebrae right on top of the other. We find ourselves back in the middle, right arm down, left arm up. We're doing a nice big lat stretch, thinking up and over. And I want you to think about really actively reaching that hand on a diagonal. So I'm not over to the side, I'm reaching at a diagonal, trying to grow out of myself a little bit more, digging that um, the hip into the floor. So my hips, both hips stay on the floor, as opposed to like bringing this one up like this, right? Really actively reaching right here, taking a couple of deep breaths. And on your next exhale, we're going to curve it around. Pause on this diagonal. And then you can finish the curve. Bring it all the way up. So let's pause in the middle for a second. Feel the difference between each side of your back. One side might feel a little bit more stretched out. You might feel a little bit stiff on this other side. So let's go ahead and even ourselves out. Um, <laughs> couldn't tell my left or my right. Left arm down, right arm up. We are going over to the side, really actively reaching here, reaching away from us, digging that hip into the floor, taking some deep breaths, and think about breathing into the lat. So that big muscle that runs right under your armpit, we wanna think about inhaling and expanding those ribs apart. And on an exhale, we reach a little bit further away from ourselves. Let's do two more just like that. Reaching a little bit further away from yourself. Inhale. And we reach a little bit further away. And on your next exhale, go ahead and curve it around. Pause in the diagonal. Take a deep breath right here. Back to the middle. And we curve it up one vertebrae on top of the other. Hands on your knees. We're going to go into some chest circles. So I'm just leading with my heart, sending it forward and around. Hello, Harley. <laughs> Three and four, and then reverse it. This should feel good, so don't force anything. Three and four. Good, we're gonna come up on our knees right here. We're interlocking the hands behind us, and then we're just gonna send it up and over. So bring those knees apart. Flip your arms, send your forehead to the floor, and just take a few moments right here to breathe, opening up the chest. You can rock back and forth, give a little massage to your third eye. I'm gonna be on my side because my forehead gets really red when I do that and we still have like half the video to film. Y'all don't wanna look at me with a red head. Good, taking some deep breaths. Sending those hands a little bit further to the ground. One more deep breath. And bring the arms down. Slowly roll up. 
we're headed into our tabletop position to now do a tabletop cat cow. You can either tuck the toes under or have them flat. I prefer them flat, but totally your call. Pressing the floor away, getting those knees stacked right under the hips, wrists are stacked right under the shoulders. We're gonna send the shoulder blades back and down. And then we're gonna pull the shoulder blades apart, exposing the spine to the ceiling as we head into cat. Breathing it in to cow. Out to cat. Two more right there. Cow. And cat, really think about this coming from the shoulder blades. So don't worry about how far down your belly is getting to the floor. Just focus on pressing those shoulder blades back and down. And exposing the spine to the ceiling. Good, and we're back to the middle. We're gonna bring ourselves to the floor for a T-spine rotation. So bring your arms out to a big wide T with your palms faced up. I don't have room for that, so mine are just gonna go down by my side right here. You can absolutely do that if you're also tight on space like me. Crossing the right knee over the left knee. We're gonna keep both shoulders on the floor as we let those knees fall down to the left side. So really prioritize keeping both shoulders on the floor. We're taking some deep breaths, 360 degree breaths. So imagine you have a balloon in your belly and on your inhale, you're gonna blow it up. And on your exhale, you're gonna let all that air go. One more, just like that. Expand the belly and let it all go. Let's move on to the other side, crossing the left knee over the right knee. Prioritizing those shoulders. Oh, I'm tight on this side. <laughs> Taking some deep breaths. Thinking about that balloon in your belly. One more deep breath. And bring it back up to the middle nice and slow good okay so for the last one this is just a chest opener exercise um, you're gonna need your props so I'm gonna use a foam roller and a yoga block combo the two we just want something to run along your spine and then something to support your head so I also have like a big pillow right here and this would also work for this if I wanted to go on it this way if that makes sense <laughs> alrighty so I'm putting my foam roller right in the middle. Ah, you can go like that because I have a clip in my hair. Good. And then really nice and easy, you're just gonna lay down, letting this run along your spine in between the shoulder blades. You want something to support your head as well. We're gonna let those arms fall open to the side. And just take some deep breaths. Letting gravity just open up your chest. And take a moment to notice what your body feels like right now. Are you holding tension anywhere? Are you thinking about what's coming with the rest of the day? <laughs> or are you thinking about being right here, letting the muscles relax? Maybe there's coffee brewing, what does that smell like? Maybe you hear something outside. Focus in on that. We're gonna take a couple more deep breaths right here. Breathing in, letting the belly expand. And on an exhale, just really nice and easy, letting it all go. One more, breathing in, letting the belly expand. Last breath. Great work today. I hope you're feeling a little bit more stretched out, feeling a little bit more open to your chest, stretched out in the back area. I know I get really, really tense in my upper back, so I know for me that's feeling a lot looser right now, which is exactly how we want to walk into the day. So, happy Tuesday. This is coming out on a Tuesday. I normally post these on Monday, but last week was absolutely 
wild so we're posting this one on a tuesday so happy tuesday happy february i hope you're having a great week so far if you like these kinds of videos i post them every single week so make sure you're subscribed and i will see you all next week